I am Anthony, the internet politician, and you may have recently seen a few videos from Dogpack404, his first name is Dawson, about his and others' work experience pertaining to their employment with Mr. Beast, James Donaldson, also known as Jimmy. First off, what is the FCC? Well, the FCC is the Federal Communications Commission. They are responsible for overseeing all of the over-the-air communications within the United States. What does that include? Well, uh, it includes radio stations, both AM and FM, over-the-air and satellite television stations, cable and wire services, cellular communications, emergency service communications, military communications, and both commercial and individual non-commercial communications. Now, technically, the FCC is responsible for regulating the signal spectrum of bands and frequencies used by various entities. In the case of commercial and non-commercial communications, they are also responsible for regulating content. That is why television and radio stations have to follow certain uh, protection guidelines as they are technically providing public services over the air for free. Think ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC, and PBS. With that said, it does not mean that the FCC is listening in on all of your telephone calls. They are also not paying attention to what the military or law enforcement are doing with their devices. But they would be concerned if you had decided to broadcast your radio playlist on an open CB channel. You know who you are. Stop doing it. So why do I bring this up? Well, during Dawson's first video, he had mentioned that he believed that there was some violation of FCC law due to the content of some videos. The fact is, the FCC does not regulate internet-produced content. Also, I should state that altering content while the methods are questionable, to ratchet up the drama is not uncommon, let alone illegal on the internet. Dawson had mentioned that he had a lawyer look over the video before he had published it, but that makes me question if the lawyer even understood the law, particularly because any lawyer with experience with media should generally know that the FCC does not regulate internet content. The FTC or Federal Trade Commission, on the other hand, does in some ways. However, the Discord content and the concerns over the advertising in towards minors are truly worthy of further scrutiny, particularly by somebody at the FTC. It is against the law to advertise to children in certain ways, hence some of the COPPA stuff we went through a while back. Plus, it may have been possible that there were a few cases where children participated in certain online activities where their information was questionably obtained. Also a COPPA issue, if true. So leaving that to someone else who knows those topics better than I, that whittles down the remaining complaints to human resource issues. This is where my expertise comes in. If anybody knows me in real life, they know that I have a master's public administration degree where I specialized in human resource management law. In fact, my second HRM book is on sale at Amazon. The link is in the description. Anyway, keep in mind that what I'm about to say is not legal advice. If your employer has you sign a non-disclosure agreement to protect themselves against you reporting them for breaking the law, the agreement is not legally defensible by them. If your employer requests that you do something that makes you feel unsafe with a threat of dismissal, that is illegal. It may also be an Occupational Safety and Health Administration or OSHA violation. If your employer asks you to do something that is against the law and you refuse, they cannot legally dismiss you. If you report your employer for breaking the law, they cannot retaliate. In his second video, Dustin had Jake Weddle, another former Mr. Beast employee, speak about his experiences with the company. The two main issues were brought up. Uh, the first was the mistreatment of Weddle after he had been asked to participate in an 100-day isolation challenge. On the surface, it was already a bad idea. As mentioned in the video, there was a question of cruel and unusual punishment. On its face, it looks like a former employer looking to torture a former employee. Either way, it's a bad look. Then we get to the second item, that being Delaware. It seems like Delaware's past was an open secret that was made light, despite its severity and the fact that he was around children on the regular for his job, not to mention the attempts to hide his identity while he was on camera. I would frankly be surprised if Mr. Beast does not run background checks on potential hires. Corporations smaller than his with less annual income run background checks on potential hires. If I were Dawson and Weddle, I would pay a visit to North Carolina's OSHA board, heck, 
Dawson should also consider gathering all of the other former Mr. Beast employees that he's in contact with. And if it was within their state statute of limitation, depending on you know each individual's case, find a lawyer that specializes in employment law and start a class action lawsuit. The more people who join, the more charges that can be raised based upon the amount of proof that can be discovered. Once a lawyer is on board, I would then recommend starting a fundraising campaign to help pay for legal expenses. With that said, I am not accusing Mr. Beast of anything. Everything here is alleged. I have seen no proof other than what has been shown in Dawson's videos. Plus, that is only one side of the story. In a world where a lot of things can be easily produced out of thin air, I am happy to let the courts ultimately decide what is real and what is not. I currently do not plan to follow up this video unless Dawson contacts me and wants to talk about it. For full disclosure, I am not a Mr. Beast fan. That is probably because I am not within his audience demographic. I do not think that I have ever watched any of his videos. If not for MatPat over at The Game Theorists, I would probably still not know of Mr. Beast. Tell me in the comments your thoughts on this video. Did you like what you saw and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.